Hi, this is David Lewis. Um, so we've installed the iSplit application. Uh, we've processed our first job using the U function to optimize for dark media, which means that the iSplit application will try and put the split line into black areas of the design. Then we've printed the design. So here are our two prints. These are done using the Forever Laser Dark 8.5 by 17 sheet size. So a full 17 inch sheet. This is the first print. This is the second print. So this gives us the ability to do this full 12 by 16 design on the uh, on, in this case it was printed on the Oki 711 WT so all of the white toner printers can print the eight and a half by 17 sheet size all right so we're pressing this cover it with a couple of pieces of uh, parchment paper Uh, medium high pressure about 300 degrees minute and a half to two minutes so this is a hot peel Now we do the same thing with the other side. While we're pressing that one, we'll go ahead and trim this one. So I ran it right close to the edge. So there's very little to trim off on this side. And we just trim the little excess glue around the edges. So this one, I'm going to run this one for 90 seconds. Trim the edges on this one. Now when I'm trimming the edges on these, I typically like to leave a little bit of room so that um, it doesn't overlap right to the edge of the cut line in the garment. So here's our, here are our two pieces for this design. So now we're ready to put them on a garment. All right. So using both sheets to give us an idea of you know what our what our placement is on the garment itself, so we can get a nice centering, and then we'll cover the first one with a piece of parchment. We're pressing this with light to medium pressure, light to medium pressure, because we just want to stick it to the garment, but not press it down deep yet. About 15, 20 seconds is all we need. And then this is a cold peel.
So we want to cool it off and then carefully peel it off. Got my aluminum heat eraser here to help me with the cooling process. Cool it down real good. And then we have a nice, careful rolling peel. Peel the design away. Nice tight roll because we've, we've only just put it onto the garment with a light bit of pressure. Stick it back into the heat press and line up the other side of this. So now we check our alignment, then we take a piece of parchment and we put it off to the side to keep the edge up, then we use a large piece of parchment to cover everything, and then again we're using light to medium pressure for about 15 to 20 seconds to stick the other half of the design onto the garment. And another cold peel. Again, we're <clears throat> pulling the heat out. We want it to cool off completely. Using our heat eraser. Again, a nice tight roll. Applies the other part of the design. And then one last press at high pressure. with a large piece of parchment that covers the entire design. Again, high pressure 
and this time we want to go the full 30 seconds so in this case what we're doing is, is we're really pressing the design down into the shirt we've married up the two halves of the design or the two sections of the design and now we're really pressing it in to give those two sections the opportunity to really meld together into one composite final design and so here is our result Beautiful. So a twelve, twelve and a half by sixteen design done using a eight and a half inch print size. Thank you.